Hey everyone, it's David. I just wanted to take a minute to share about how I'm using my interactive rhythm games and embedding them on online platforms. Um, I've already shared about how I embed the games into Google, Google Classroom, and so I wanted to share about how you might use them on Seesaw. So first here I am on my Teachers Pay Teachers store. I'm going to turn on my little mouse finder here. So um, if you go down to uh, the sidebar and look at interactive games. It's going to pull up a lot of games. Right now there are 12 different games and a couple different bundles and things, but I wanted to show you um, in case you're interested, I've made a demo. Um, and so if you go through, you can find there are a lot of different themes for different times of year, different um, like barnyard or ocean or whatever, but there's also a demo. So if you click on the free demo, <clears throat> you can download and try it out and see if it would integrate well into your classroom, see how it might work for you. So if you download it, there are actually two things. You're going to get one thing. Um, one of those is just um, a, an interactive PDF. This is really great for if you're going to use it on a smart board or um, interactive whiteboard, like a Promethean board. And so what you would do is you just click through and the kid has to come up and figure out the rhythm that matches uh, the word. So Han Solo, if they chose Ta Ta, they would say, no, sorry, try again. And they would have a chance to try again. It's going to let them go until they get the right answer. So Han Solo is a uh, quarter note and two eighth notes. And they get to go through. And this just has a couple different examples of things you can use. Now, these are just, this is the, this first PDF is really what you would use on an interactive whiteboard if you didn't have internet. Um, but then there's also instructions about how to um, use this on uh, like an online learning platform, how to use it on um, your iPad or tablet or whatever, Chromebooks. So kids could take a tablet, they could scan the QR code and that would take them right to the game. That'd be easy. Um, you can also have them use the link. And that's actually what we're going to do when we embed. So you can use the link to take you directly to the website. I'm going to click it because you can actually click and copy that link. And I'm going to take it back over here to Seesaw. So let me turn my little mouse finder on again. So what I'm going to do, and I am not a Seesaw um, genius, but I'm just going to show you how I use this with, with um, Seesaw. I go to Add and I click Assign Activity. It pulls that up and then I get to Add In. I'm going to create a new activity. I'm going to call it Star. Star Wars Rhythm Game, perfect. Okay, and then I'm gonna add multimedia instructions or example, that's where I add my link. So I add the link that I copied over and it's gonna pull up a weird sort of image because it's gonna pull up something that's sort of in the middle of a transition. So this is correct, <laughs> even though it looks wrong. So I'm gonna hit the green thing there. And then what my instruction for students is, um, play the rhythm game and then tell me your favorite character. So that's what I'm going to leave as instructions for students. And I could leave a template for student responses, but for right now, I'm just going to save. And then what you can do now that you've created your activity, you can assign it to a certain class. You can assign it to multiple classes. But what kids are going to see when they click the link um, here, I'll even just show you. When they click the link, what they're going to get is they're going to see this screen and they're going to get to see that's why I had that weird thing because it was showing you the transition. So then they get a click through and this is a little bit more exciting than the PDF uh, because it has these fun transitions in here. And they'll get a click and if they click the right one, it'll take them to a hooray screen. So then the cool thing is that then when they get back to Seesaw, they'll get to add in um, their response of who their favorite character was. Um, and so it, it gives you a chance for a response back from kids. This is just one way to assign through Seesaw. There are probably other ways, but I'm not a Seesaw genius. So if you have other great ideas, I would love to hear them. Um, anyway, this was just a demo of how you might use it on Seesaw. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.